Grade 3 Math, number 124, Symbols for Money. There's two main symbols that we use for money. When we have, like, here's a quarter, it's a fake quarter, but that's 25 cents. And then we have a dollar, that's a fake dollar for teaching, but it's a dollar. It looks like a real one. The back doesn't look real, though. And this is the symbol for cents, and that's the symbol for dollars. Okay? So let's look at these and we'll compare and contrast them, okay? So hopefully my focus will stay good. This is the symbol for cents. It's a C with a line through it. And if you have 25 cents, like this quarter, it is written as 25 with the little C with the line through it. You can also write it with a, a decimal point and then the 25 to mean 25 cents. Cents are parts of a dollar. There are 100 cents for each dollar. So when you get to 99 cents, the next biggest number is one dollar, and it's written like that. So you make an S and put a line straight down through it. That's the symbol for dollars. If you have one dollar, it's written as the S with the line through it, a one, and then a decimal point, and then two zeros. If you have one dollar and 25 cents, it's written as the S with a line through it, the 1, a decimal point, and then the 2, 5, like here, for the 25 cents. Or I mean like here. See the point 2, 5? Large amounts of dollars are written the same as large numbers. You put a comma when going three place values to the left. So when you get 1, 2, 3 place values to the left, you would put a comma to show that you're in the thousands of dollars. This would be written or this would be read as $12,150 and 25 cents. So the decimal point you would say and, and you would read this part and say dollars, then say and, and then say the cents. $12,150 and 25 cents. So those are the symbols for money. That's how you read money and write money. And keep up your good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.